We are ready to start off 2023 strong with Grace back from her maternity leave. She's ready to jump in, so we're gonna start off with a really fancy menu. I really wanted to give you guys something that can wow the guests that you make this for. Today on the menu is red wine braised short ribs, and I'm gonna accompany this with This is a really easy dish to make, but it does kind of take a long time. But if you have a Dutch oven, the oven will literally do the work for you. We did want to point out the fact that we will be making one video a week because we used to make two, but starting this new year, we're gonna trim it down to one, but we will up the contents of our shorts, reels, and TikToks. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's jump right in and check out these ingredients. Ella's gonna join us because she's crying from her nap. Ella, can you say hi to everyone? Are you gonna be here while we're over here cooking? So I got my short ribs at Whole Foods. Just make sure when you guys look for short ribs to get something that is a little bigger because these do shrink a lot when you cook them. We're gonna be seasoning it on all sides with salt and black pepper. Generously season every side of the short rib. And then we are going to dredge some flour onto the short ribs. And this will create like a really crispy golden brown crust on the short rib, giving it a really good texture. We're gonna need a Dutch oven and generous amounts of olive oil and sear all sides of the short rib. While the short ribs are searing, let's prepare our vegetables. Give everything a very rough chop. I'll just do this in fours, I think. You can see we're really getting that crust on it. Wow. And as for herbs, I'm using rosemary and thyme. These two really enhance, oh, I love the smell of this. It really enhances the entire flavor of the dish. Let's quickly chop up some parsley to add as garnish and also for my mashed potatoes later. Look at that crusty layer here. Once the short ribs have browned and created a really crusty layer, we're gonna set this aside. And now add in chopped onion, celery, and carrot, and your garlic. This is the part where we're trying to extract all the flavors from these vegetables out into the oil. This is amazing. Now let's add in half a bottle of red wine. It can be a Merlot like this. Try not to use red blends. It just has to be dry and it has to be red. And we're also gonna add in two cups of beef broth and we're gonna stir this very well. Thyme, rosemary, and our peppercorns. Almost forgot the brown sugar, but don't forget the brown sugar. Okay, came to a boil, so let's add this in. Wow, do you hear the sound? Like, wow. So crispy. Let's add this in here. And we're gonna cook it in the oven for two hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bye bye. In the meantime, I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and some broccolini. I saw this really cool TikTok thing where if you just score 
your potato like around in half and you boil it, you can just peel it right off. So let's see if that works. Okay, let's boil this. I mean, it is a little faster, but it's not like how I saw it on TikTok. Oh, okay, that one's a little better. A little bit. <laughs> so Grace, how was all your pregnancy mom life been going? I know it, but I'm asking it for um, of um, yours. It's just been really busy and most days- Well, Ella's better now, like with sleep wise. Um, better, but she still wakes up almost the same amount. Oh, but <laughs> oh, I thought you said she was sleeping like seven hours. Yeah, except last night I moved up her last feet. Oh, okay. So then she failed again. Oh, but it's okay. I'm getting used to the no sleep and it's just being busy all the time. But you're feeling better. Yes, mentally, physically, I feel a hundred percent better. Mm -hmm. I don't feel stressed out about being busy all the time either because. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it's, she is a priority, so it's not like it's work, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just something that I have to do. It gets me up and productive at least during the daytime, right? Because usually I'd be in bed till- Oh yeah, for sure. For like two hours after I wake up. Oh yeah. Just watching TikTok. Now, I, I don't even have time to watch TikTok for like- Hey you. Even 10 minutes. Hi, I'm Loud Mrs. Ella. <laughs> I just seasoned it with salt. Ella. Salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and sour cream, and milk. <laughs> Does it sound good? Now, I've not done this in a while, but do you guys know what it's time for? which means a new start or to get going. And we did this word because it is a new year, so it's a set chirbai, which is new start. Grace, do you have a new year's resolution? Um, no. I Just to keep Ella alive? Yeah. She literally safe. says that all the time. To keep her safe and healthy and alive. <laughs> Anyways, today's word of the day is chirbai, which means to start or to get going. Ta-da, guys. That looks freaking bomb. Let's take out the, the short ribs. That looks so tender. Mm. And now we're gonna take all the veggies, peppercorns, herbs, all of that out. Now we're gonna add a knob of butter and we're gonna reduce this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure to keep whisking and stirring it often on medium heat. Wow. That's a big short rib. Put the broccolini over this. And the sauce. That was a long cooking process, but we are going to take a look at how soft and how delicious this is. Are you ready, Grace? Mm -hmm. It's a long wait. We haven't eaten. It's like two o'clock right now. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. Mmm. Mm. The red wine sauce is so good. The sauce is where? The sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. Mmm, it kind of tastes like Korean kalbi jim a little bit, right? A little bit, but then it... Yeah, no. <laughs> Definitely tastes more American than that. Mm. Wouldn't you say it's fairly easy too? Mm-hmm. I can make it. You don't do that much to the meat. Mm. So that was our first video back with Ella. I can't say it was like the easiest thing because she kept waking up in between, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. What'd you think, Grace? I thought it was gonna go better. Oh, wait, seriously, this is so good, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and see you guys on our next video.